Hey everyone, Pupsker here, and today we're playing Wayfinder and going over about the first 10 or so minutes because I was invited by Digital Extremes to check out and play the Wayfinder beta and get some footage and make some videos, so shout out to DE for that, thank you, thank you. Work in progress, this is all beta gameplay, the closed, I think it's technically fourth, maybe fifth beta, but I could be wrong on the numbering there. So this is the starting screen, just to start off, you get to select your choice of characters between Wingrave, who seems to be more of a tanky healer, okay? You have a Silo, who seems to be bonus melee range type DPS, has scatter shot with his starting weapon. You can swap out and use whatever weapons you want for the most part. I believe this is a very open-ended game in that regard from what I've seen, but I haven't, you know, haven't gotten to dip my feet in as much as I'd like yet as you know this is day one for the beta for me to get some footage so hey we have Nis for all of her abilities there she seems clearly like a roguelike assassin and if you like that you like that who I'm gonna go with I think I'm gonna go with Nis because she seems she's pretty cool I have no idea how she's gonna end up working reminder this is a NDA test all that jazz but I was invited by Digital Extreme, so we remember, if you were in the beta, wonders. do not share footage. Okay, that was a cool intro sequence. It's definitely still being worked on, because again, this is a beta. That's the whole point, right? So this is Nis. left click to attack, and then right click to kind of block or defend. I haven't read through any of the attacks. That's no fun. I'm gonna have to turn up camera sensitivity after, but I just want to take a look and check it out. Take the strand. So you walk up, and you get a dagger. Yeah, so this is clearly going to be the intro sequence, and I'm gonna probably cut it off at the end of the little intro sequence. Maybe I'll make a video later going over the city, because it does look very pretty from what I've seen, but... Oh, there's a little intro sequence. This is still a beta, so things are getting updated and changed around constantly from, like, closed beta to closed beta. So we're just going to have to wait and see on the full release. So you do sprint. Yeah, left click. And it just throws you into your sprint. You don't have to hold it. So I'm, like, freehanding it, running forward. You have your stamina bar down there. Double jump, it looks like. Nice. My first ability. My second ability. Looks like a buff. And then my third ability. Ooh! I have my ultimate on four, it looks like, if we want to call it that. But most likely, I think they're probably going to end up doing the thing where they take away my abilities. Right- okay, right click is parry, and it also consumes stamina. Let's, let's see how it works. Come here. Okay, not mad at that. Oh, good combo. <laughs> I just want to mess around. Oh, if you look in the bottom right, higher your hit combo the more damage it looks like you build up. Because I built up to 150% on a 5-hit combo there. So that's pretty interesting. So you do want to actually be in combat. If you start jumping out of combat, you're going to lose DPS and you're going to lose damage. And that's going to be bad, okay? So it looks like it definitely prioritizes you being in the game. I always like when games do that, you know? It's like a combo system for Warframe, you know? It's very similar. Similar. Uh, same type of idea. Okay, double jump up there to get up there. And then you climb the wall. It keeps throwing the little shrubs in your way to kill them. It is, after all, the little intro sequence. So, how does everyone think the game looks so far? Just kind of curious. Just kind of curious. Hey, buddy. Okay, let's see. Let's see how easy it is to wipe them out. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely... It, they were just like one shot. I need higher mouse sensitivity. Just so that I can like 180 attack like that faster. But it would take a while to get used to. Ooh, and the blade dance meter is full. Use your weapon ability. Oh yeah, Q is your weapon ability. Forgot about that. I believe each weapon you swap out to has its own weapon ability. Even though I am Nissa the Rogue, I think I can swap to other weapons later on, and they will have weapon abilities. So that's something to keep in mind. I'm going to probably look over it fully more when it fully releases, because by that time, everything will be more set in stone. And numbers and everything, since this is a beta, of course, still highly likely to change. Okay, I'm just like one-shotting them right now. 
I want to see... Does it cap out at 200% for your combo? Oh, no, it keeps going. Okay. Sorry, I just wanted to check that quickly. Every three-way finder has three basic abilities, each with their own cooldowns. One, two, three. And four, if you look in the bottom right. I know, the work in progress is a little bit over the way, but that's, you know, it is what it is, after all. But there are four abilities. The one in the bottom is three, and the one on the right is four. And it looks like that'll be my ultimate. Did it say R? Oh, no. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I'm just jumping around. I like it. Okay, sorry, I fell off there, and then it uh, booted me back down here. That was very cool. I like the, uh, the sorry, level design of this area. So, I hit escape just to check out, like, everything. This is Nis. This is your weapon level. It looks like you have a character level. That's your general currency, and then this is your premium currency. This will be your power level, so 201. This is your explanation. Okay, so fourth ability, Gloom Shroud. For 10 seconds, Shadow Step can be used at no cost. Oh, so I literally just Shadow Step everywhere. For if I'm assuming it means just like spam shadow step. Okay, so dash in a line, dealing damage along the way. After a short day uh, delay, a gloom clone will dash from your initial position to you, dealing damage to enemies it passes through. Okay, so you just constant gloom clone and jump around. Interesting, interesting. So that is all you have there. So that's good to know. That is good to know. Now we jump around. Let's go. So, double jump to reach new heights. We already did this. Uh, I jumped down and fell. Let's not worry about it. <laughs> Don't. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine, okay? I'm just pretty jazzed to be able to uh, make some uh, videos and record some gameplay for the footage of this beta. Because, man, I love betas, but it makes me sad when I can't stream, record, or do anything. Because my brain is broken, and if I don't feel productive, I feel bad. So, yeah. Probably a lot of people out there like that, though. Okay, push down deeper into the gloom. I just want to take a look. So this is tab. I'm just, like, checking hotkeys and, like, looking around. Nothing too serious, right? This will probably actually end up being, like, the first 20 minutes. Let's see. Double jump. It's a cool tutorial sequence, though. So the only thing that cuts through there is the gloom dagger. There we go. Gloom shadow, you must destroy it. Now, that is probably... The final boss of the little tutorial area. Use five to use your little health potion flask. I have six there. Jump, jump. Oh, it's a heart. Mm, that's not nice. Oh, it's a little portal heart. And he has to protect his little portal heart. Mmm, that's rude. Man's got a big lance. Haha, uh -huh, I was drinking coffee. Wayfinder, ultimate ability. Let's see how this works. Okay. I think I technically blocked that. Oh, didn't block that. Block that. So you can see the little uh, over their head, the little... Uh, like, th the claw attack looking thing. Gloom. Okay, so she uses her ninjutsu. That's literally what it is. You just shadow step everywhere. I do need to up my mouse sensitivity because I'm not used to using a mouse this unsensitive. But that's a simple settings change after, so... I just wanted to see how that worked. That's cool. Okay. It's just an intro sequence boss, so... You destroy the anchor, path is clear, but the shadow is collapsing. Quickly enter the portal, and then we make it through. Okay. Starting weapon, slicer and dicers. Continue with this. Okay, so this is... Now it's looking like the you're starting the game sequence, right? Like, you are starting the game. Do you want to go through with this? So... Of course. Of course I do. Uh, yes. Yes, I do. And reminder, if you do happen to be in the closed beta, it's an, it's under NDA, okay? Digital Extremes uh, invited me. That's why I don't have any watermarks on my screen, and that's why I'm recording footage for this video. So thank you. Shout out to that. But that is the, sorry, intro sequence for this, okay? Wayfinder's first 10 or 15 minutes, right? So far, pretty interesting little MMO, but that's just the beginning. So, hey, I want to just show you the entrance into the general city, as I believe it'll take us there right after. So, yeah, we'll continue on when that happens.
Okay, so after a little bit, I did load in. It is a beta after all, so it's obviously going to have a ton of issues. I think they were up about an hour late because server issues getting it started, understandable. But this is the city you load into. The gate right there. And that looks like the big city over there. Man, it's a, it's a very pretty game, so... Yeah, I'm just kind of curious what everyone thinks about the beginning. It looks like 20 or so minutes, 15 or so minutes. So yeah, that looks like the general questing and gameplay style intro of 15 minutes of Wayfinder. I just wanted to make a video going over the intro into the game. You probably won't be seeing as much just straight footage going forward of just random gameplay and footage. But yeah, it looks like right now, the beginning cutscenes, they're still working on them, still getting them into the game. A lot of the uh, the cutscenes, yeah, they're just waiting. It's a beta after all. They need to do network tests, they need to do performance tests. There, I don't think, is a release date or anything yet, but just more betas. They have settings a ton everywhere here. You can play PlayStation controller setup. The graphic settings are all here, okay, in case you're curious. V-Sync, let's just turn that off, max frame rate. I'm not running a 240 monitor. I think I'm running... Oh, actually, what am, what am I running? I can't even remember. I think it's like 165, so I'll turn up to 160. Gamma, motion blur, always turn down motion blur. And then everything else on high. That's my resolution, bordered window. That's how I would say uh, you want to do your settings. I think FSR is enables AMD FSR 2. I don't think I can take advantage of that because I have a NVIDIA GPU. I think I we do ray tracing, right? Either way, that's good there. Here's the volume. I gotta turn mine down a little bit. Uh, I'll do that in post, but that's fine anyways. Here is the controls. So I definitely have to turn up my general, I would say, sensitivity. X and Y, mouse, there it is. Mouse, X, Y, I need that all the way up. Uh, you can hold for that. Can I, can I click over here? Like, okay, so they need to work on their menu system a little bit. Okay, you know, small, uh, small complaint. Because I can't just click it up here. I need to hold here. That's just not, like, a great UI for players, right? Not super user-friendly. Anyways, let me jump out. Uh, would you like to, yes, I would like to save. Select yes, if you keep your setting, otherwise no. Yes, please, please save. Oh, that's actually a lot better. Okay, it's a, li it's a little strong. <laughs> it's a little strong. <laughs> Uh, so I always like to quickly look over all of the settings, for, you know? It's always good to do that. Uh, probably point actually 8, now that I think about it. So yeah, always look over your settings to make sure it works well for you. Um, might be a little strong, but... Yeah, it looks like those control settings, you know, you just gotta get used to it. I need to be able to 180, so I think point seven should be good. Let's see. Play, I gotta play this game like I'm playing an FPS, you know? Okay, yeah, I think point seven works well for me and my DPI, but this is the world of Wayfinder. Oh, look at the beautiful skyboxes! I love me some skyboxes, okay? I come from a game of Warframe where there's beautiful, beautiful skyboxes everywhere, okay? So you got your moving clouds, but yeah, that is the town. Maybe I'll do a walk around of the town. If there's any specific videos anyone wants to see from this beta, please let me know. Because I'm just going to be probably not streaming much these next couple of days and just playing this and casually recording footage, making videos. So, yeah. Thank you all for joining, subbing, liking, and checking out any of the socials. Thank you so much, Digital Extremes, for the invite to the beta. Again, that's why I can record footage. That's why the whole watermarks are off. So, uh, remember, if you're in the closed beta, it's under NDA. Don't leak anything because you're going to get bad. That's bad. Don't do that, right? Don't do that. Wait until there's an open beta. But yeah, thank you all for showing up and being here. Cheers.